Oh, hey, YouTubers. It's Fabi. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, how you doing? I hope everybody is lovely. I'm excited, as usual, when I get to play with new makeup. And today, we're going to play with some, some new e.l.f. products. Super affordable, helping a tight budget look good. So we're going to do that on the face. We got the putty, the poreless putty primer. We have a e.l.f. Let's see bronzer palette that we're going that is going into and some new loose powder i tried the maybelline fit me loose powder and i loved it i had to also do my hair i am proud i revamped a four month old wig and brought it back to life wet and wavy so i can you know rock that for the week and so if you want to see how i made my face go from nay to yay and if you want to see how I brought my wig back to life, if you want to see how I performed CPR on my wig, stand by and watch me get this face together. You know, the errands to run. And before I go, I just want to point out I have on Lady Rum accessories. Love the butterfly earrings. Check them out. Making your tight budget look good again. See, this is just my life. We have to make a tight budget look good. We just have to use what you got to get, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for visiting again. Don't forget, subscribe. And if you like, like. It only makes sense. Bye. Oh, well, no. Let's jump into the video. You ready to jump right in? Let's do it. Let's do it. Elf. Elf is the word for today. We're going to try the poreless putty primer we're gonna play around with this new elf bronze palette it's so cute both products super affordable i have never tried either product it says that the poreless putty primer is infused with squalene to help grip makeup for all day wear and help protect the skin from moisture loss it's a velvety texture slide. It says it's velvety texture and it, it's a velvety texture that just glides over your skin. And so we're gonna play around with that. The primer is $8. The, bron the contour bronzer palette is $8. So let's just do it. I've already moisturized. My eyebrows are already done. So when you open the poreless putty primer it's the consistency is really like putty so let's just it feels oily for me it just feels really oily it's not tacky It looks fine. All right, let's put our foundation on. And we're using the Juvia's Place Foundation today. I have recently ran into the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. And I'm in love. I'm using it again. Clinique is still my girl. But, you know, Juvia is my new best friend these days. And don't forget, take your time when blending in your foundation. Okay, guys, I feel oily. Super duper oily. I mean, some would call that a dew look. A dewy, it's dewy. I feel like it's just, ugh, it's, well, for me, it feels oily. Mm, let's go in with some Tarte Creaseless Concealer. So let's conceal under the eyes. I'm so in love with my LA Girls concealer. So we're going to add a little bit of that as well. So let's go ahead and blend that in.
and always keep some q-tips on hand so we can clean up because it's something in the corner of my eye the way the makeup just goes on I'm going to use a new setting powder today. I'm going to use the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Another affordable item. Get a little brightener underneath. That's how you get your eyes bright. Is by putting, by setting your concealer. And you can bake it. I usually don't. I just wipe mine off immediately. So when you're thinking about purchasing setting powder for under your eyes, it should be a, a shade lighter than you are in order to make your eyes bright. I clean my brushes with this brush cleaner from Equate Beauty and it's, it's lovely. So before we use that brush, I'm just going to clean it really, really quick. All you do is spray it on a paper towel and swivel or a makeup shirt, swivel it around and all that product comes off. Okay, so now our brush is clean and we're just going to swipe away that extra powder. And we're carving out our face, contouring it with the Fenty Match Stick. Now I am putting on a lace front wig. Just hope it doesn't interfere with um, all the makeup I put on my forehead. And again, take your time as you're blending out your contour. Go down your neck, ladies, too. And gentlemen. Now we're just going to add a little more depth to our existing contour by going into Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And now with a different brush, I'm going to make that a little teeny weeny bit darker. Primer, the putty primer. It doesn't feel oily anymore. So we also have that e.l.f. bronze palette that I wanted to incorporate into today's look. We're just gonna try this one out. Try that as a bronzer over top of what we've already con contoured. Okay. Okra. Okay. Okra okay. is what I meant. I set the whole face with my go-to CoverGirl. I love CoverGirl. I have loved CoverGirl since I discovered makeup. I just wanted to put that out there. My face is pretty much done. Let me, we're gonna move on to step two, which is applying the wig. But let me just go off camera, put on some eyelashes, and then we'll move on to the wig. Okay. About this wig. I have had this wig for three, three months, three, going on four months. Last night. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Yes. Yes. 
bestie right here but i washed it and conditioned it i put it on this head and let it air dry overnight and so that's what we're going to be using really good good quality hair but so when i put my wigs on i definitely i grabbed the got to be ultra glue and it's hair gel and what i do is i just put it on my edges of my hair to make sure that it lays flat my hair has been washed conditioned um and pulled back in the ponytail as you can see duh just comb our edges with our this is my my edge brush it's a toothbrush that i use for my edges don't put the ponytail too tight. I don't because it's going to give me a headache. I usually can't keep a wig on for more than two days. Only because of me. So now I have a wig cap that I'm going to put on. It's just that simple. And the wig cap is placed right before I want the edge of the lace to touch. To to um to go take your dryer and dry it for a quick second i'm blow drying the wig cap with the got to be glue hair gel so it kind of like melts together this just basically helps keep the wig cap in place you're gonna need this is the end of a rat tail cone you need something like that the hair I use ghost bond and we're gonna need some alcohol so before we do anything we'll take the alcohol and we'll clean up the edge of the hair this is what I do here's a disclaimer I am NOT a hairdresser I just figured out what works for me that's it like seriously so cleaning the edge of the hairline helps the adhesive stick better. There is no measuring or anything I need to do. Because she's it's my girl. She's been around for like four months. Take good care of your wigs and they'll last. And this is, you know, a good grade of hair. It's 100% human. Got a comb in the back. I need some clips. Just comb it all out real quick. It's a naturally wavy wig. Clips to keep the hair out of your face or or a little we can do a um baby wingy too. What is that called? Make sure my ears are right. The lace, I clean the lace when I when I clean the when I wash the wig, I always take the brush and try to get as much excess glue off as I can. So it's like it's brand new. We're just gonna do from we are gonna do from left to right so let's pin this piece up first actually we'll throw it all in the corner too again when I pull the flap down that's where it's gonna go so let's just Pull back the hair, just 
the pan. We're actually just gonna put the glue on on full because we know exactly where we want it to go. <coughs> we'll do two two coats. I can't talk all of a sudden. Wow. So my suggestion at this point is for you to take your time. Some people do dots and connect them. Some do lines. You do what works for you, but just take your time because it can get really messy and you don't want that. I also have a remover um, that I use that's when I'm tired of the wigs, which happens fast for me. And it's it just comes up immediately. I haven't lost any hair from from taking off a wig yet. Take the end of my rat tail comb, this little thingy dingy here. Spread it all out so it's even. So I remember the first time I applied my first lace front wig and it was a mess. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better, yes. Uh, make sure you take your blow dryer on cool and blow dry the adhesive so it can get kind of tacky. And then you want to apply your second coat and then blow dry again. Now let's start from the left to the right and we're just gonna pull that down. Again, this is this wig is three months old. I did spend a little bit for it. It wasn't cheap, but oh, was it worth it? Because all I do is I treat it. I mean, you just wash it, condition it, and it comes back to life. But let's blow dry the perimeter and help it seal to help the lace seal. Take it off and see where it goes. So at this point, I'm just trying to detangle it, comb it out. It still needs some love, some more steps to go, but we're just combing it out right now. Oh, so I always part the part the hair. I did the back already, and this is this is where I want it to be. This is the top, and so I'm going to spray it down with the. I got some really cool. It's called Dave Curl High Shine Multi Benefit Oil, and I got this um from somewhere. I forgot where I got it from. A sampler. I don't know. 
And then the five second detangler for wigs by Evan. So yeah, let's do that. So now the hair is manageable and I can style. I'm gonna clean my edges up with some alcohol to get rid of to get rid of any glue that might be visible. I really like the this wig detangler. So let me finish styling. I think I am gonna do the lashes and I'll show you my final look. What a journey, y'all. But finally, I got my hair, I restored my wig back to its wet and wavy type situation. And I did that using some wig detangler along with some new hair oil. Um, my face is done. I like it. And I put on lashes, even though I love, love, love the mascara. I felt like I wanted some lashes on anyway. I just can't, you know, make up my mind. Play with my hair a little bit so I can do the usual. But I really, you know, I like that I can restore the wig. It's worth spending the money on a nice quality wig, if you ask me. It really is. So, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. My face, let's talk about, before I say goodbye, the e.l.f. Putty um, Primer, I like it. I, I don't feel oily and crazy. It feels good. I can still see some of my pores, but, you know, we can't perform miracles overnight. What else did we try? Um, the bronzer. Yeah, it looks good. And it's a, a super affordable. And if you have the budget that I have, that's what we're going to go with. That's what works. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.